were you surprised the name was available? It was, and then somebody found out I was working on it and bought the domain behind my back privately. Wow. <laughs> Christine Mosley, CEO and founder of Full Harvest. You ready to answer some questions? Absolutely. What's the coolest part about being a twin? Playing tricks on people. What do you hate about yourself? That I'm too much of a perfectionist. The name is perfect. How'd you come up with it? The first thing that came to mind was a world where we were harvesting every single thing that came out of the ground and it just hit me. What other names did you consider? For past companies I've worked on, name has always been my biggest challenge. It's taken me months and months and it's crazy. I still have the notebook where the first day that I sat down to come up with a name, within literally two minutes, I wrote a few things and then came up with Full Harvest and circled it. And I was that was my huge uh, moment where I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. This is what my company is going to be called. I think, you know, I just wrote words. So there was no other name. It was just like, you know, produce, harvest, sustainability, just words to kind of brainstorm. But Full Harvest was the first name that just kind of came together. Were you surprised the name was available? It was. And then somebody found out I was working on it and bought the domain behind my back privately, found out. Um, six months later and bought it back from him once I found out what happened. Is a brand just a name to you? No, absolutely not. There's brand equity uh, that is established through every single thing that you do um, from your product, from your wording, from your you know image as a founder, from um, you know the way you message things, the way you present yourself as a team. I think brand is everything. When did the idea hit you? The main moment where everything came together was when I was on one of the largest farms in the country, watching them harvest romaine hearts, and they were only capturing 25% of the plant and letting 75% fall to the ground. And I was walking on perfectly edible food for as far as the, I could see, and I just knew that we had a broken food system and that if I didn't fix it, I didn't know who would. So that's when I really um, realized the huge opportunity to capture that product and sell it to food and beverage companies for uh, perfectly edible food. Does the brand even matter as you're a logistics heavy B2B business? Absolutely. Um, we not only see ourselves as a B2B company, but are becoming a B2B to C company where we're um, partnering with food brands as well to start branding uh, the Full Harvest logo in terms of a mark of sustainability. And so you'll see a lot more in the future, but um, we really drive what we're doing on the B2B side through consumer packaged goods. What's your investor pitch? Currently, only 4% of produce is purchased online, so there's a huge opportunity to digitize the industry. At the same time, $20 billion worth of produce goes unsold just because it's not perfectly shaped for grocery stores. And we are the first B2B marketplace connecting large food and beverage companies to that perfectly edible but just not perfectly shaped produce that's going to waste um, and at the same time digitizing the entire supply chain. How will you know you've made it? When I'm on the cover of Forbes. If someone said, I want to be you, what would be the first thing you tell them? Uh, be ready to give up every single thing you have, blood, sweat, tears, every dollar you have. Whose career do you model your own after? I know it's controversial, but Elon Musk has always been an, a huge inspiration for me. And I know that you know he may not necessarily be the best manager, but um, just the fact that he is so aggressive towards innovating and helping the world in big ways is hugely inspiring to me. What do you love about yourself? I love that I'm uh, a fighter and fearless and I'll do anything at any cost to solve big problems. Who's your competition? Currently, we don't have any direct competition in what we're doing with tech, but uh, our only direct competition is who we're disintermediating, which is old school produce distributors. When did you have your breakout moment? I think when um, I won the Project Entrepreneur pitch competition that the founders of Run the Runway held with UBS Bank in New York, and I was one of the top three candidates uh, that won out of I think 850 that applied and I was the wild card. I wasn't even supposed to be a finalist and I was on stage in front of all of these people and didn't know anyone there and walked off the stage and everyone came up to me saying, oh my God, that was the best pitch I've ever heard. And I was like shocked by the reaction and ended up winning and that kind of got me on the map. Are you tight with Jenny Fleiss? Jenny is an actual investor um, and then Jen Hyman is a huge role model for me. What does Sunday look like to you? Go to church. And then I work. What is a piece of advice you live by? Go big or go home. What's your biggest business challenge? Talent. We're doing something that's never been done before. We're disrupting two old school industries, both on the 
agriculture side and on the food and beverage side and trying to find people that either can work in tech from those old school industries in San Francisco or from tech that can understand a very archaic, um, unique industry like food um, has been one of the biggest challenges, but that's changing. Do you consider yourself a tech company? We say that we've been a tech enabled company that is morphing into a tech company as well as becoming an innovation company. So not only do we have our tech marketplace, but every single thing that we do every day is innovative, including working hand in hand with growers to innovate at the farm level to capture product that was previously going to waste and innovation on the brand side with food and beverage companies to come up with new innovative products. Tell us some stats that will blow our mind. We just brought to light uh, the most comprehensive study on farm food loss. And for the first time ever, for over three years, 20 commodities were measured and 34% of edible produce does not even get harvested in this country every year. So that's a third of everything we grow doesn't even get harvested. And then after that, 40% is wasted. So the amount of food waste in this country is just astronomical. Are we the leader? We are one of the top three leaders, yes. What's your goal with Full Harvest? Our goal is a world where there's 100% full harvests, where everything that's grown that can be consumed is harvested and um, goes towards consumption. And with food waste being the number three contributor to climate change, uh, we hope to make a huge scalable impact on reducing climate change. Who is a person you'd love to have coffee with, dead or alive? Elon Musk. <laughs> what makes you special? I think I've recently realized that I just um, am unique and that I just never give up. Have you seen copycats? I have not. What was the hardest thing you had to learn on the job? Honestly, how hard managing people is. I'm a founder at heart. I love building things, but going from waking up one day to realizing that, oh wait, I also have to manage, you know, 10, 20 people was a big wake up call for me. I can relate to that. I'm not the best manager. Mm -hmm. I found a really good managing director for me that helped things. Mm -hmm. Do you have someone you've kind of deputized to run so you could feel like you're doing what you do best? Yeah, I have an amazing head of finance and business operations and great head of supply and head of sales. And right now we're looking for a COO, but I've found subject matter experts for different departments to help for now. What part of the brand are you most proud of? I think that, um, as I mentioned, you know, one thing I didn't realize until I had to put together the branding in my company was that my whole life, the way I decorate my apartment, the way I dress, my website, even my, my office is three things. It's clean, modern, and warm. And I just think that that kind of envisions who I am as a person. I'm very straightforward. I'm very warm and welcoming though. Um, and I like to be you know, up to date. And so that was the first time that I saw my product manager develop our website from my vision and it was perfect and it was exactly what I envisioned. That was the moment when I realized that everything was kind of coming together and in a way that I was really proud of. Christine Mosley, founder and CEO of Full Harvest, thank you so much for coming on and answering some questions. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Ian Wishingrad and I'll see you next time on I'm With The Brand.